Okay, today what we're looking at is the walking, the quadruped walking one using the Nautilus, the spiral gears. You've already seen, I'll put a link to this in case you didn't, the two-speed gears. I don't know what the real name for that is. If any of you know what the real name for a gear that has two different gear ratios on one gear, let me know down below. I'm sure it has a name. I'll just call it the two-speed gear. You've already seen the video on this. I felt it was a little bit unstable. I think it has to do with not the fact that it's so quick to lift the foot and move forward, but it's so quick to stop once it's moved forward. I think that jerkiness tends to make that version a little less stable. So I thought if I built it using the Nautilus gears, which you can see they're spiral, it, uh, when it hits this point, that's the quick step where it's going to quickly move the foot up, but then it slowly ramps back. Well, it actually goes the other way. Slowly ramps around to a slower speed. So it's the quick step and then power walk and quick step and power walk. Uh, turn on. I really got any place left where I can hold this thing when I turn it on because of the light because I glued a uh, because of the Nautilus name. I thought, well, let's be funny. Let's put a seahorse head on there. So I put a seahorse head and tail. And by the time I got those two things on there, that didn't really leave me any place to <laughs> to hold this thing. Maybe if I hold it by the head and the tail. Nope, even that, my hands hit everything then. There you can see, it comes around. Now there's one thing I didn't mention, because some of you were wondering about the timing, and I didn't mention it on this one, but it's true on this one, and it's true on this one. You can see the motor drives this gear, it's set up, and you actually have this um, quarter section in other words, they're not in a straight line. When I first did a test on the Nautilus gears, I had everything lined up in a straight line, and I quickly realized that isn't going to work for a walking thing. Yes, that would have one leg stepping and one leg lifting, always out of phase. That part's good. But if you did it on the other side as well, that means there's always going to be, let's say this foot was up in the air, well then that foot would be up in the air too, so that means the whole thing's standing on two feet, and that's not stable. Uh, for this to be more stable, you want to have only one foot off the ground at any one time, so there's three feet on the ground. So what you want to do is actually quarter phase everything. So by lifting this up, imagine that as a corner of a box. Get that up there, above it, bring those in. That way, it, sh it gets as close as it can get to having always having three feet on the ground and only one foot in the air timing wise especially when you come around to this side where everything has to be out of phase with this side. See so how this gear is aiming this way <clears throat> not only do you have to print it in the inverted fashion but it also has to be that one's aiming down this one's aiming up got to be out of phase but you want the same thing to be happening in that you want to have as many feet on the ground as possible. You can see this with three just trying to stand here. It's not going to stand. But when you activate it, let's see if we can turn this thing around here. Let it walk right off the table. I didn't really plan on having a way of uh, holding it. My initial thoughts with that the Nautilus might not be the best way to uh, do a walking thing. Um, because the speed is always changing, you know, the kick up and then the ramps down, because that means of the three feet that are on the tabletop, they're not moving at the same speed. They're continually, linearly uh, slowing down more and more as it walks forward before it goes to kick the foot up. But it actually doesn't do too bad. I thought worse it might just kind of wander back and forth a little depending on which feet we're grabbing and, and whatnot. But it uh, worked pretty good. I guess I'll try to hold it in front of the camera again so you guys can study the, the timing. So now you can see both sides. How you want to alternate your stepping to try to always keep something on the ground. 
Okay. I think I'll put the files for this up on Thingiverse. Um, and maybe I'll do a build video on it. I'm not sure. It depends how much time I have. I've got sitting down in here a two uh, AA batteries. And I just ran a screw in through the side so that they get, don't fall out when they turn the thing over. They just slip down in there. Put one of my standard uh, slide switches on the back, 19 millimeters between hole mounting. Um, this design can only walk forward because of the Nautilus gears, the way they ramp. This design, though, can walk forward or backward. It isn't going to make any difference because the gears are symmetrical. Yes, you have one side out of phase from the other, but it it works the same way no matter what direction the motor's running. I could have put a three position switch here and had it walk forward or backward, and it wouldn't have made any difference. So, there you have it. Uh, two different versions of the quadruped walking robot, one with the Nautilus gears and one with the two speed gears. Any of you guys can research and find out what that kind of a gear is really called. Leave it in the comment section down below, I would love to know.